What's going on YouTube? Welcome again to another video. So for this video, I'll be showing you guys how I clean the Rottweiler intake system. So I'm gonna be removing the gas tank uh, and then from then I'll just access the filter. So this the cumbersome part about this process is you have to remove the gas tank. So I would advise that if you have a full tank to not do it yet, maybe ride it. Um, all the way to maybe three fourths tank, so it's a little bit lighter to carry. But if you're if you don't have an issue with carrying heavy things, um, then it's no big deal. So let's see. I think I still have full tank in here. So we just because I just filled it up and I just thought about oh I have time now to do this. So yeah, unfortunately it's full tank. So uh, we just deal with it. So you're gonna spill a little bit of fu uh, fuel. So get ready to have something on the floor there you know but it's very very minimal because you're going to disconnect the the fuel line here the fuel connector from your tank to your engine so that's just what's going to happen and then we're going to remove these panels there's two bolts under the seat here so you have to remove your cowl to remove the seat very very straightforward uh, and then you lift it you kind of lift it up and away kind of like that so let's go ahead and do it all right guys, so I'll start with removing the seat cowl. So after we remove the seat cowl and the seat, we will remove the front blade panels here. And you also need to remove the um, screws on the radiator covers right here in this area on both sides so once you remove the panels the side panels uh, so two screws uh, on the radiator area one screw on the side panel here so same on both sides so three screws total per panel and now you're going to remove the gas tank with these um, hex uh, hex bolts all right YouTube so when we pull the gas tank off I just want to reiterate that there's these connections under the gas tank so be careful it's quite heavy if you have it full tank so you have this connection here um, on towards the front of the bike this one as well and at the bottom you have your fuel pump I guess your fuel line and I think this is your fuel level sensor if anything hopefully you guys can see that yeah so fuel pump fuel line and fuel level sensor so make sure you disconnect all those as well as well as your fuel drain if it's tied up somewhere like I said before so that's all those connections under the tank and it's quite heavy when it's full so be careful not to drop it so let me bring let me just bring you guys in here so you guys can clearly see it so this is one year of riding uh, without cleaning it so as soon as I installed it last year um, when I got the bike then I modified it if you guys remember I haven't opened this up so as you can see there's still but there's actually bugs in here it's like a hornet that died right there because i have no uh shield i didn't put the shield on in here but it, it's also a naked bike so this is open when you're riding this is open even if you button it up this is, there's a hole right here there's a hole right there you can't avoid it it's just a naked bike so you're gonna get stuff like this so i don't know how long this has been dead but um so I'm gonna clean up in here and just you know before I button it up but you can see the Rottweiler intake still oily actually still quite oily so it hasn't dried up yet for one year of riding track day hot weather riding anything like that so I used uh, this is the oil I used let me see I used the so this is the cleaner I use it's a powder so we put it on water and then you dunk the filter in there then this is the oiler so you just kind of spray it on the surface so that's the system that I'm gonna do when I remove this you can actually do it in one hand let's see just twist this clips here and the other one and then that's it you're free that's your velocity stacks I got the two big ones from Rottweiler as well so here's the end there's the filter i'm gonna go ahead and dunk it in the cleaner wait a couple minutes and then oil it back up again so we just cleaned the filter it's now rinsed 
uh, a lot of dirt came out so the water was completely brown almost black so that's one year of grime um, stuck on the filters mainly just dust I think but uh, now it's not it's not oily anymore it's just wet so we actually have to let this thing dry so it's not a quick process to clean this so because if you oil it now there's water it's not gonna it's not gonna stay so make sure to just let this completely dry how you know if you have like a space heater just kind of like put this in the vicinity of that not directly but like just kind of let it dry as quickly as possible if you're in a hurry but for me i'm just gonna let it sit for a couple hours a few hours it's a sponge so it doesn't take that long to to completely dry just kind of lay it like this on some kind of a wire chair outside or whatever so i'm gonna let it stay and let it dry and then we'll get back to reassembling the bike so here's another thing that i am kind of thinking about doing now is i've had this for one whole year so i'm finally gonna try and switch them out with the ktm plate that, which came with the kit for the exhaust originally so let's go go ahead and do that all right, so here she is, it's on. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up. So what do you guys think? Was this better or that? Cause that, this one kind of looks like R, like Super Duke R, but you know, this one kind of like blends in with the engine, understated. So what do you guys think? All right, just leave a, leave a comment, let me know. After letting the filter dry for some time, uh, we're ready to put it back in so all we have to do is spray some filter oil and just on the surface just coat the surface with the filter oil basically so that it you know so that it traps the dirt on the surface and it doesn't go into the filter so that's just that's how it works so it breathes really well but you have to oil it so we're just gonna so I just shake this up so I only used this like once last year, so I have to use, so now I don't know how old this is, if it's still working actually. So we'll try. All right, so it still sprays. So I'm just gonna spray the surface. Just coat all the, all the sides. Try to get the other side. So, after we've oiled the filter, we will just go back and install it. Uh, there is a hook on the left side, so make sure that goes in the base here. So it doesn't float. It's not supposed to be flapping around. So, so yeah, see, it, check if the other side is flapping around. It's not. So it's hooked onto the base. It's secure, not going anywhere. That's what it looks like. So I also cleaned the orange um, base of the, fo the foam because it's oily. I cleaned the oil from there so that you can, when you touch it, it doesn't go on your hands. Just, you know, personal thing. Okay, so we're set to put the tank back on and everything else. Alright, so I got the tank on, um, make sure all the connections underneath the tank is situated um, carefully so it's not getting pinched or pinching other wires. Uh, you know, it's, it's a little tricky but it's just what you have to do. So I'm gonna reroute my fuel drain hose again to a nice spot and zip tie them again. Um, <clears throat> make sure my ignition kind of switches the connection in the front of the tank is, is good. And that's it, I'm gonna button it up, uh, put all the panels back, and uh, we'll give it a start and see how it idles if I broke anything. Okay, guys, let's give it a start. There's.
uh, that's it. That should do it. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys on the next video.